All right, y'all. Jalen Rose is on Vlad TV. Shout out to Jack Vlad TV. Go follow him. Uh, he do a lot of great interviews. And then Jalen Rose, of course, uh, it's between him and Chris Bouchard for my favorite, like, uh, NBA personality. And, um, you know, to analyze the games and stuff. But um, uh, Jalen Rose did his top five players of all time. He ended up doing top 10, but the title of the video was, like, top five of all time. He puts uh, Bird over Kobe. But we'll see. Uh, let's just let him talk about it. Boop. Yeah, say Jalen Rose puts Larry Bird over Kobe Bryant in his all-time greatest lit, all-time NBA list. He asked him for a top five, but he ended up going ten. So, um, if you were to name your top five NBA players of all time, I know you put Michael Michael Jordan one. My through MJ's five, number one. But if you were, if you go one through five with different people, yeah, MJ okay. number five. Okay. MJ oh, number one. MJ number one. My bad. Who's two? Controversial, but going Kareem. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, number two. Can't argue that. Top scorer ever. Um, 10 time on NBA. I think he made 10 defensive teams, too. And he won six MVPs, six uh, championships, and like two finals MVPs. He was the most accomplished player for sure. Two. Okay. So I, I, I need to get some information behind these picks first. Okay. Jordan, number one. Six championships, six finals MVP. Yeah, that's enough said. Never will be done. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Won four championships in high school, won three in college, won six in the NBA. Yeah, that's won ridiculous. Won six MVPs, is currently, right now, the NBA's all points ever and got the most MVPs ever. Time leading score and arguably the most unstoppable shot ever. Yeah, the unstoppable, most unstoppable, I don't think it's arguable. We're in the sky hook. There's never been duplicated. Boom. Number three. I want to go Bill Russell. Okay. Number three, Bill Russell. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. 11 championships. I think he got five MVPs. He probably would have won, like, he probably would have made over 10 defensive teams for sure. He probably would have won defensive player of the year like seven times. 11 championships in 13 years. Okay. Number four. And this, I just argued about this the other day. Magic. Magic. Yeah, Magic, man. Been in the league 12 years, made it to nine finals. Um, really 11 and a half years, but um, he missed some years in his prime. He had to retire like 31, so I don't know. He would have had an argument for the gold. Jordan would have had some competition. Johnson. Magic. Okay. We... Only 6'9 point guard out there. <laughs> Jumping center as a rookie. Having a triple-double. Yeah. I think he had 42. I'm surprised I don't know this. I know he had 42 points in a triple-double in game six of the 1980 NBA Finals against the Sixers, I believe. I might be wrong, y'all. Y'all gotta check the facts on that. With 40? Okay, we still haven't heard Kobe or LeBron being mentioned. Yeah, I mean, they probably just not tough. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm thumb wrestling in that five between giving LeBron the edge over Larry. Larry Bird. Three, they both got three championships. Um, both got three MV, No, he got three MVPs. Bird, Kobe. I mean, Jordan. No, LeBron has four. So you wouldn't put Kobe in there. Yeah, Kobe in there. Kobe like around six or seven. Kobe in there. Okay, so who would you Will put in there too? Okay. If I had to just name them without putting them in a quick order, so well, I would Okay, well, so who would you put at five? I'm going to give LeBron. Yeah, I don't got a problem with LeBron being fifth. No. This is tough. Five, right, that's a tough spot, man. Yeah, because there's no more after that. That's there. <laughs> you got to eliminate yeah. somebody. Yeah. That's tough. How about I go, uh, I don't know. I'll go LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, LeBron and Birdie is tough. You want to keep going through 10? Sure. Who's six? LeBron, five. And Bird would be six? Bird, six. Okay. Bird, for those that don't know, won consecutive, won three straight MVPs in the league. Three straight MVPs. Showtime Lakers and Michael Jordan and the bad boys present. Ooh. Three straight MVPs. MVP. Um, so you would say that was the battle for it? was 84. I don't think Jordan was in the lead at 84. The 85, he was a rookie. He averaged 28, but then he won 32 games. And then 86, he broke his foot. So there was really no. The only person that was competing with him was like Magic for the MVP to me. The boy ever. Man. No question. <laughs> Not even this. Yes. No doubt. Okay. No doubt. Okay. Seven. And he coached me for three years in Indiana. Right. How about that? Exactly. Seven. 
seven. Kobe hasn't gotten mentioned yet. Seven is Kobe. Seven is Kobe. Yep, Kobe. Uh, over 10 defensive teams, over 10 all NBA teams, over 30,000 points, the killer instinct, the playoff moments, the clutch moments, um, the leadership moments, um, the stuff he had to go through in his career. He started off as a rookie, came in, didn't even start. And Eddie Jones and Financial was better than him. Like, let's just be real. And then um, after that, um, Kobe had to play with Shaq. Uh, through the air ball, he tried to air balls and won three championships and had to, uh, when Shaq left, um, they were saying Kobe couldn't win without Shaq. He's selfish and he had three years where he just dominated, average 27 and 35 and 31 and uh, 05, 06, 07. And then 08, he came in, had had a good enough team to win it, uh, got a Bears by Celtics. Uh, Celtics was just better, tougher, stronger, more experienced, everything. And then um, Kobe didn't have a good game six either. So that Kobe had to deal with that. Oh, he can't, he can't win without Shaq. And uh, Shaq came out with that song. And then 2009 and 10, Kobe won back-to-back -back finals MVPs, man. Uh, yeah, I'm just, he's been through a lot in his career and he overcame it. Seven is Kobe. Got three slots left. Eight. Eight is, uh, let me just throw some names out there first so I'll make sure I don't forget nobody. I'm thinking about Will, I'm thinking about Big O. Thinking about Shaq. Yep, that's a good three. I'm thinking about Hakeem. Yep. Iverson. Iverson. Big. I love Iverson top 10 though. So, um, I would say Wilt is... Uh, yeah, the way he dominated the 100 points, he had 50 points in one season. He won uh, seven scoring titles, like four MVPs. Uh, what, eight? Is that where we are? We got Kobe oh. seven. Kobe seven. Wilt eight. Okay, Will Chamberlain is eight. There's nine and ten. Nine. You know, there's Shaq, there's Kevin Durant. Mm. Nine is Shaq. Nine is Shaq. Three finals MVPs, the way he dominated. Four four championships. I didn't say Will yet? You said Will. Yeah, uh -oh. Will, Will was, was... Oh, Will was there, okay. Yeah. And, and ten is the big O. Yeah, people got to stop disrespecting Oscar, man. Um, he's the second, uh, he's probably the second best point guard of all time on third. So, yeah, that's it. That's a good segment about Jalen Rose. Like I said, Vlad TV, go subscribe and then Jalen Rose to support him, whatever you do. Peace.